everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to another lesson with Mrs. Song. I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. How was your three-day weekend? Did you get to go outside with your mask on and maybe take a walk while keeping your social distance of six feet? Or did you get to spend your time at home with your family members and have some quality time? Whatever it is that you did, I hope you did so in a safe manner. So for today's lesson, we will be making another uh, rainforest shakers. However, today we'll be using different materials, not the plates like the last time, but we'll be using these cores that you find inside the toilet paper or this paper towel core. Other materials that you need are tapes. I'm just showing you an example of what kind of tapes you can use. You don't have to have all three of them. And aluminum foil. And I'm using grains. The same grain that I used last time. And then I found this um, pasta, small pasta that's made with lentils. I'm using this because I cannot eat this, it's expired. So I just found whatever I could uh, gather in my cabinet that's already expired. So I'll be using these two and hopefully they'll create different sounds. It'll be very interesting. So let's get started. So if you are making this with the toilet paper course, then you will have to attach two of them together like this with the tape. So I will show you. I'll be using this tape. So isn't it crazy that we only have how many more weeks? Including this week, we just have two more weeks or three more weeks of school. Isn't it crazy how time just flies by even if you're in quarantine, locked down inside your home? And I bet you're excited to go back to school next school year and see your friends that you haven't seen. I was having trouble with the tape early, early on. So I finally fixed it. There you go. I'll need a long piece of tape to connect these together. Oh, there you go. Line them up and tape. Okay, that looks pretty sturdy. Maybe one more outside to make it a little bit more sturdy. There you go. And then, I'm going to cut a little bit of the foil and make it into a ball and put it inside. So, as you can see, both ends are open, right? So I'm going to close this end also with the tape. So with another piece of tape, I'm going to close this end. And then put another tape. Just secure it. There you go. So that when you put this in here, it wouldn't fall. Now I'm going to make another foil ball. Another one and put it in here. Okay, oops. <laughs> Alright, now for this one, I'm going to use my pasta. 
It's not the spaghetti pasta. It's um, looks like this. It's short, so it'll be perfect for this rain rain uh, for a shaker because it will move around freely. I'm just going to put another handful. Another handful in here. Look. And then close the other end. Now this is so much it is so simple that's oh I'm so clumsy. It is so simple to make this that you'll be wondering, oh, is that it? Yes, it really is it. It is that simple. I'm going to close this end. And as always, just to secure it, I'm going to put another tape on the other, uh, in the other direction. And that's it! Anything else you want to do is maybe uh, take a marker or a pen or crayons and maybe put another piece of paper around this so that you could draw on it. Or you could bring out all your stickers and put a bunch of stickers on this. Be creative. Decorate this as much as you want in any way you want. Let's see what kind of sound this one makes. This one makes kind of like a heavy rain sound. It's It has some weight to it, doesn't it? But if you want to use it as a shaker, that's for the fast music. But for the slow music, you just slowly tilt it to one side and the other side. Tilt it. And continuously just move it depending on the music that you're performing this with. Now, let's move on to the paper towel core. And for this one, I will be using the grain. Adlai grain, the one that I use for the shaker that I made with the plates. And this is much simpler because we don't have to connect it in the middle, right? All I have to do is just, uh, what's we we'll call it, clog this part and put the... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my words today. Put the aluminum foil ball in here and put the grain and close this at their end. That's all I'm going to do. So let's do it. Tape. I'm going to close this end. See? Very easy. I'm going to close the other end. Now, if you're using the scotch tape, you know what you could do? If you're using this, because you don't have this long uh, tape, then you could use the foil to cover this. And then you could put the tape around it. Let me show you. So I put the foil on one side, and I'm going to just use the tape to attach it. See? And then I'm going to put the tape around, all the way around. And that's it, right? Okay, let's make a small ball out of the foil. Insert another one. Ball. Insert. And time for the grain.
So I didn't quite measure how many I'm putting in here. But I'm assuming you could put about two, two fistful in here, okay? Now that's done and over with. I'm going to close this end and I'm going to actually close it with the foil just to show you a different method. I'm going to put another foil just in case if you start shaking it really hard, then you don't want this to break. So I just put two foils. And I'm attaching it with the tape all around. All around. Maybe another, maybe another little bit lower. So here's it. I'm going to put one more tape a bit lower so that it's actually attaching to this core so that it doesn't fall off. There you go. Okay, let's see what kind of sound this one makes. I'm just going side to side, slowly. And then if you want to make it into a shaker, what do you do? You just shake it. Listen to the difference in sound. That's definitely more weighty. It has more weight. And this one is a little bit lighter. Yeah. So it really depends on the size of the grain. Are you using a bigger grain? Then it's going to sound a little bit heavier. If you're using smaller size grain, then it's going to sound lighter. So I want you to feel free to experiment. Always ask your parents what you can use from the cabinet. Don't just grab it and you might get into trouble. Ask your parents if you could use some of the grains or beans in your household. Okay, and only use what they allow, allow you to use. But I'm sure they're okay with using the paper towel or the toilet paper cores. Okay, I hope you had fun. Now it's time to perform. Let me turn on some music so we could perform with our rain, uh, rain forest. Ooh, doesn't it feel like we're in the rain forest? It's such a beautiful sound. Let's. Let's perform. I'm going to use this first. Doesn't it sound like the heavy rain? Just like the music. And I'm going to use this one now. I'm just going from one side to the other, trying to control the speed. Flamenco music. I'm using this as a shaker, but it kind of sounds like a castanet. See how you could go soft to loud?
and the music gets faster and faster and faster. You can look for this kind of music. It's flamenco music on um, YouTube or anywhere that you can find it, even on your iTunes or wherever you can find them. And it doesn't have to be flamenco music. It could be any type of music. And you could, if it's a slow music, you just go along with the pace. And if it's a faster music, you match that with the uh, you match the beat with the instrument so i hope you have fun i hope you actually do this at home and continue your music making at home always remember to stay safe healthy and i'll see you next time bye